let us now talk about area under the curve between 0 and z so many tables give us area under the curve and it they give us area under the curve between the 0 and a particular value of z this value may be for example 1 here or it may be 2 here or it may be 3 here so but here we are shading in yellow the area under curve between 0 and 1 so this type of tables are available and I have one such table here for example when we look at z equal to 1 it gives us 0.3413 so if we go back here and see here so between 0 and 1 the area as they say in the table is 0.3413 so this is that much area so these tables can be derived using SPSS let us try to derive our own table here so I have this data file area under curve between 0 and z dot sav open so I have set up these variables z score is variable and then I have z underscore dot zero zero z underscore dot zero one z underscore dot zero two and so on all these variables are set up already and what we want to compute is we want to compute these values so in order to do that we will go to transform compute variable and here first of all I am computing z underscore dot zero zero and for this we have to use this formula cdf norm and it takes the argument of z score and from that we will minus 0 0.50 so if we do that we get the values of area under curve between 0 and z and if you want to know how we, I did it I can do it once more for you I will reset it and we will pick this variable so I will type the variable name z underscore dot zero zero here and then we will go to all functions and from down there we will pick up this function cdf norm function and i will select this one so this is the function that we are using and it requires an argument as the explanation says it wants z value and z scores i am passing it on but these are cumulative distribution function so these are the cumulative values so in order to get the values between 0 and z we have to minus from it so I put the minus sign here minus 0 0.50 and I am putting all this in one in brackets and then we click OK and here I click OK and SPSS is processing uh, the command and here we get these values so at 1 I get 0.3413 so which is same value which is available here at 1.5 I have 0.4332 so again in our tables we have this value 0.4332 similarly you we can go and see for z value of 3 it is 0.4987 and in the table at 3 we have 0.48987 so all these values are same so in order to complete this we can compute the other values also so here I will quickly tweak it to 0 1 and here I have to add 0 0.01 and then I click OK and click OK so this way in Z score we have added 0 0.01 so this will give us the value of so this first one was for example 0 
so that would be 0.11 here it was 1 z value of 1 and here it is z value for 1.01 so if we go back and compare it here with the tables at 1.01 we have 0.3438 and we also have it 3438 so this way you can complete the entire table so here I am working on computing the remaining values of the table so z.05 I am making the required changes and this way the table is getting complete as you can see at in the back these are the commands which are being executed by SPSS to compute all the values of a particular column and finally now we are computing here z underscore dot 9 and here I am tweaking the original formula and SPSS has, has run this command and by this time I will minimize and our table is complete if we want to double check one more value at 1.59 we have 4429 and at 1.58 we have 4429 and in this table at 1.58 we have 4429 so we are randomly checking the values and 1.59 is 0 0.4441 0.4441 so so these values are same as given in the table now one more thing we often read in the books this thing they say us that there is something called 68959.7 rule and what it just means is that when we are one standard deviation to the right and one standard deviation to the left from the mean so it covers 68 percent this is 68 percent so the 68959.7 rule is nothing else but it tells us that 68% of the area under the curve lies in the range of mean plus minus one standard deviation so this is what it means but sometimes we wonder is it like 68 percent or is it more than that so if we want to see we can refer it from our table actually so if we go here and if we come back to our table and let us see here at 1 we have this value of 0.3413 so which means 3413 means so area which is on plus minus one standard deviation is 0.3413 on right hand side and 0.3413 on left hand side so the total area exactly is 68.26 percent so this is approximate value so exact value is 68.26 but interesting thing is when you have your own table you can even increase the accuracy of this one so is it 68.26 or is it little more than that for that if you go back to your table and in table for example for this variable z.00 i increase the decimal points to say 7 and I come back here I see the values up to 7 decimal points and here I get the value 
पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री फोर फोर सेवन सो विच मीन्स दैट द एरिया बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन इज एक्चुअली पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री फोर फोर सेवन एंड बिटवीन जीरो एंड माइनस वन स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन इट इज पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री फोर फोर सेवन एंड इफ वी टोटल अप वी गेट पॉइंट सिक्स एट टू सिक्स एट नाइन फोर विच मीन्स दैट एक्चुअली म्यू प्लस माइनस वन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन कवर्स एन एरिया विच इज एग्जैक्टली सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट टू सिक्स एट नाइन फोर परसेंट सो दिस वे वैन वी हैव आवर ओन टेबल्स वी कैन कंप्यूट मोर एक्यूरेट वैल्यूज सो विच मीन्स दैट म्यू प्लस माइनस टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन exactly covers 95.44998% of the area so this 95 rule just gives the approximate value but the exact value is this one here so this way when we have our own tables we can exactly measure its values so here i have increased the number of decimal points to 5 decimal points for all the values in the z table and here we will export this as a excel sheet area under curve underscore between 0 and z xls and we are saving this data file so when you open this uh, data file excel data file which has our z scores uh, not just z score i should say area under the curve between 0 and z score then you can modify the data file if you like a little bit here tweak it so that it looks better one and then you can change few other things like putting 0.00, .00 here and here you can put 0.01 0.02 and so on you can play with that and make it your own so once you are done with formatting of this table and then you can actually save this as a pdf file and when you open this pdf file so here you have your own customized area under the curve for various values of z score or between 0 to z score so you have your own customized table up to 5 decimal points we started with some other table this one which was up to 4 decimal points but we have created one for ourselves which is up to 5 decimal points so this is the table for area under the curve between 0 and various values of z and one more thing the one that we downloaded this table was up to z score of 3 only but we have computed the values even for 4 and then 5 so at 5 it looks like it is 0.50000 but if we take more decimal points we will see that this is little less than 0.5000 because 0.50000 becomes at a very large value of c so if we go back here and if we change this to seven decimal places we see that at 5 it is giving us a value of 0.50000 which means when z is 
the area between 0 and z is 0 0.50 but when we increase the decimals we see that it is actually not 50 it is 0.4999997 so even at 7 it looks 0.5000 but actual value is here, 0.49999, so on till 872. So this is how accurate our z-score table is. So we can actually go, if we count these decimal places here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can go up to 14 decimal places. Although we displayed seven decimal places here, but when we click the actual value up to 14 decimal places gets displayed here. So even at 7.09, this is the value of area under curve from zero to Z. And 0.5 actually becomes reality when z is very very large we will say say it is infinity at infinity only it becomes 0 0.5000 so area between 0 and z when z is infinity will become 0 0.50 actually up to that it will be little less than 0 0.50